Turn that fan off. Hi guys, it's John here, Mr. Forex Fire. Welcome to another value video. Now, in this video, I want to talk about uh, making your trading journal. And now the reason I'm doing this is I already keep a journal. Possibly you do. However, I also do from time to time these funding uh, challenges uh, where I'm aiming to get uh, funded to bigger, bigger accounts and generate more of a pot to trade from. The reason why I'm doing this video is because I've always kept everything as as one, and I recently started making not not drastic mistakes, but doing the odd silly schoolboy error, and I've not been able to distinguish one area from the other. So in this video, we are going to be going over how to produce a trading journal for the sole purpose of going through a funding challenge experience, okay? So first of all, what I want you to do right now, if you're watching this on YouTube, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, just so when I do do content like this, you'll be able to see it in further videos. Uh, further future events. From there, head on into my description area. There'll be some uh, links within that. So if you've been following me, you can get in and around the closer circle that I have built throughout the four years of my trading. And from there, if you want to get any further help uh, with regards to going through a funded process, let's buddy up. Let's help each other and get you onto that path of success, okay? So we're gonna head over to the chart. I'm going to show you what I mean, and then I'm going to talk about it, and then we're going to draw this up live over the shoulder, just so you know how to do this as well, okay? Thumbs up. Let's have a look. So, <clears throat> excuse me. This is the sort of entity that I'm looking for, okay? So from here, you will see we've got uh, Forex Fire Live Trading Challenge, okay? There we are. And then what we've got there underneath, we've got date, pair, position, the TP that we're looking for, the stop loss, the close, and we'll talk about this at the moment, the lot size that we use, the pips that we ended up getting, uh, the result, whether it was a win, whether it was a break even, or whether uh, it was a loss. Notes, I have everything abbreviated on the certain techniques that I sort of uh, trade from so then I can see which trades is getting me to from the strategy that I use because it's one of two different strategies that I use okay from there we've got a chart we've got a chart before and a chart after and if I click on this I'm just going to show you an example on here nice clear screen what I was waiting on this and this is where I made a bit of an error if we look back on here I won I got seven pips okay however when this got to its first structure point, which was up here or here, <clears throat> I moved my stop loss to seven pips above break even. However, we were currently on about 30, 30 odd pips, right? Now I should have closed out because this was a 0.7 trade. I should have closed out 0.35 of that, lot, of that lot size. So I closed out half of my profits on a 0.35 lot size at a 30 pip mark area or a 40 pip mark area. However, I didn't do that. I let the trade run from what it was worth. It came back, it hit the stop loss, which was just above break even. I got my whole 0.7 lot size based upon those seven pips above break even. Bit of a silly mistake because I could have closed half of a trade out with some really good profits. And then when it come back, not only would I have had that 30 or 40 pips, based upon 0.35, I would have also have had uh, the further seven pips. So it was just an error that I did on my behalf. All's not lost. I'm, I'm still still doing well in profit. Uh, as, so, as you can see on here, we've got the GPP odd. Uh, we've got the, the TP, the position, the stop loss, close, the lot size, pips that we won, and then did we win it? Yes. So what I'm going to do on that, I'm just going to color this a nice green. So from there, guys, you'll see on here, we've got week one, week two, week three, week four. The reason we do that is because your challenges are generally over a four week period, okay? Just bear with me, I'm just gonna, can I 
Let me make this any bigger. There we are. That's better. Right. I know you want to see the handsome Geordie face anyway. So we've got week one, week two, week three, and week four. So I use funding talents. I've got two uh, challenges. Uh, one is a bi-weekly bonus. I, there's no time structure on that. I get paid every two weeks as long as I'm in profit. Happy days. And then so much of it goes into a pot. Once we hit that accumulation on the pot, we've got, we've got that to trade with, okay? And then I've started just delving into doing live challenges. Okay, so this is what I want to teach you is the day to draw up because it's going to teach you whether you win or whether you lose, you are going to have your journal like this to look back on. From here, uh, we, we continuously learn from the losses. Okay, so there's no such thing as losing. You either win or you learn. Okay, and then this, having this at your arsenal, let's see if I lost this. I can look back on it. I can then see, see where this pair seems to be doing well for me because I've traded a few times. I've possibly won every one of them. On my notes, I look on my notes. I can see which particular style or strategy that I use. Again, I use two different types. And I can say, right, I can use this particular strategy. Let's move forward into our next challenge and use what we've analyzed from this into this structure around that particular parameter and we'll see where we go from there so there is really good reason why you should be doing these these uh journals okay so what we're going to do we're going to have a look on the top we've got uh here so what we're going to do sheet and we're going to start from here and i'm just going to do it from there All right so we're going to call this my FTMO challenge. Again, you can call it whatever you should wish. From there, you go on the top font size. Let's make it super size. Click on bold. Click on fill color. And I've got orange, okay? So again, I'm going to orange, right? So from there, we go down here a couple. Okay, let's just go down to number five. We want to do date. Pair position TPSL. So I'm looking on these bits here. Pair position TPSL. Pair position. TP, SL, close, where you trade closed out, because again, you might have moved your stop loss to just above break even, so it might have closed out a bit earlier rather than to go to TP. Uh, I do believe it's results. Let's see if I'm right there. Uh, not, not close, lot size. Close. Lot size used. Pips one. Pips. Result. So this is. You want notes. So basically, the notes could be the strategy used. So we're going to here, we'll click. Notes and again, if you want to make these larger uh, or any bigger, you can drag them in and out like that. So, notes you might want a little bit bigger. Uh, this here trading view, so you're basically doing a before shot. Let's minimize that down. Trading view after. Okay, so make that a little bit bigger. There we are. So again, from there, guys, you're going to drag all the way along. You want to do the bit, the bold first of all. Okay, you want to fill the color, make it a pastel color because you want to see that the the the, the the text okay and then you want to click on the borders i hope you take a notes 
there we have it. There's your first part. Now, if we look back, just to show you as well on here, you can see that I've got a win on there. This, these are the other trades I've got at the moment. Just to give you an update, that's where I'm sitting at the moment on the other couple of trades. One's in a little bit of a drawdown. And there's two in great profit, okay? The two that are in great profit, I do believe I've moved the stop loss above break even, but I've also closed out half of the trade, which is fantastic. So from there, what you want to do, you now want to go into week one, week two, week three, and week four. And the only reason we have this particular setup is because your examination period is generally over a four-week period, okay? So what we're going to do now is you should have column A with nothing in. You're going to scroll out right about six or seven, okay, trade areas. Now, you want to click on this here, merge cell. Okay, that produces that as one big cell on its own. You have to do this, remember? Click in here. Week one, okay. From there, you want to go to the text rotation and you want the ear with the arrow up. Okay, from there. Center, okay. And then from there, you want it middle, okay? And then just do your font size to what you feel comfortable with, okay? And then borders, one big border. Now what you can do, going from 15, Again, just a copy, you're going to merge cells. Two. You want to do your text rotation, down or up, horizontal align in the center. And then you want to do your vertical align in the middle, font size, there we go, okay. And then obviously to the borders, and you want to do an outer border. From there, again, go so far down, and you'll be able to do this with your eyes closed eventually. You then go into merge cell. Week three. Text rotation to the up, text the line in the middle, and then to there. Font size, and then finally, all the borders. Okay, once again, merge the cell. Week four, and if you find anything that you can attune to make it work a little bit better for you, by all means do it. Up to down. And then. Hold. All borders. Fact, world, fantastic. Make these bold. So what you can do on here, and what I did on here, I, I made these uh, going from a light pastel, whichever color you go to, and then 
as the week progresses, we're getting darker stage. And for me, that works well for me because it just tells me I'm getting into the latter stages. Okay. So that, there we have that on there. On there, guys, you want to highlight all of this down to the border. So what you're going to do is click on borders. You want to click on the line on the bottom, and then you want to click on the line on the side. Okay. If you wanted to, you could do do each column like this. However, I'm I'm fine having it open from there to be honest. So let's go back on to nothing, but then I want the top and the bottom. So that's that. Again, we go down to week two. So you're gonna go the side and the bottom. Again, side and the bottom, and again, side and the bottom. And there we have it, guys. I mean, that's 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 that in essence. You just so we have another little look. What we've got from there, you're going to be filling the date that you're taking the trade. You fill in the pair. You fill in the position where you open the trade. You fill in what your TP area is going to be. Just because it's a TP area doesn't mean you're letting the trade run out. It's a structure point. From there, as it's a structure point, what you really should need to be doing is when you are going for a certain lot size, you've got different structure points on the way to that TP level. You really need to be using the strategy that you're using and closing out certain parts of your full lot size and then moving your stop loss to just a break even. That's my, that's one of my top tips at the moment. From there, you're gonna be putting where it closed out. You're gonna have your general lot size. You're gonna have your pips that you got from that. You're gonna be putting a win. You're gonna be putting a loss uh, for a break even. You might just put a dash, I don't know, it just depends. Your notes, notes is important. Notes is important on this. You want to be using the notes to identify why you got in on the trade, what was the determining factors, how you were feeling at the time, maybe. Uh, again, from there, you then need to be doing a before and a after. Again, I mean, I speak about this sort of stuff, uh, so then I can look back on it and see where I lost and possibly why did I lose. Uh, and this is going to help you at the end of the four week period, whether you win or you lose, you can just sit back, relax, scroll through the different parts of the week, see where you struggled, see where you sort of did well and see where you need to improve. So maybe week one, you were possibly trading, you might find that you were trading too much on a Monday when the markets are just starting to show the hands. Uh, or you might find that in week four, you've been doing well throughout the whole of the week. But when it's got the week four, the pressure of trying to get to the parameters of whatever the target is, and you've had that rush of blood. But this is going to help you bottle everything up. Like I say, bottle everything up. And uh, yeah, sort of be, be able to at least structure yourself a little bit better. So I hope you found this video uh, educational and useful. Please remember, hit the, the comments. I want to see some engagement. Comment what you thought of this video. Is it going to help you? Uh, click the like, hit the share button, share to this as many people as you possibly can. Hit the notification and subscribe button. And before you go as well, because I know there's a lot of people out there that do watch me. Okay. I've got to show you this because there is so many people having huge, huge success coming on board with what we do, okay? So use guys right now and get access to what I am, what I'm about and what I bring to the table on a more personal level, okay? At the moment, uh, I do have my own Discord channel, okay? And we'll just let this load up where I give everybody homework sessions to do, okay? 
I've I've got uh, things in here with regards to uh, videos and training on on bankers. I've got supply and demand. Uh, we've got video training from one of the moderators, Andy Boland. Absolutely fantastic. He's doing currency strength with the EADR. We've got chats in here about the uh, FTMO challenges where people are putting their experience in there. Got members trade ideas, uh, members results. Uh, we've got a chat group. Okay. This is the homework section. I categorize everything on the strategies and what I've learned. I'll set the team homework. Uh, and uh, guys, this, this here, and I'm just going to stop the share. That there is all free. It's all free. All I'm asking is for people to come in, share their experience, share their journey. This is what this is about. For I've done this for four years. Okay, I've been part of platforms and I am part of a platform to this day. However, my aim and my mission is to help people outside of those platforms as much as I can possibly do to gear you up, to get you ready, to be able to put yourself in a position to start going for these funded accounts, help you link arms hand in hand. I can take you so far, but when you are ready <clears throat> to go for these funding challenges and things like that, let us get you on a more personal level, on a one-to-one -one level, and show you what we have on the other side, okay? I can help you so much with regards to learning structure and things like that, but let me show you how we can develop you with the mindset and everything else and give you a, a, a seven-figure business uh, plan to go hand-in-hand hand for when you're ready to achieve this funding uh, account uh, challenge sort of thing, okay? So I'm just going to share my screen again. And yeah, to be fair, guys, I mean, you can't get any any better than this. We have currently 279 people inside of this. And to think this only started from me and five other friends that were trading together. I've now got over 279 members inside of this with some amazing, some amazing moderators that helped me do this. And my aim and my mission is towards the end of this year. I'm going to be doing this full time. I will be doing this full time by the end of this year. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. Everything's everything is set in place. I've got all the foundations and all the blocks here. So yeah, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. If it has helped you, please comment below. And yeah, again, go in the links in the descriptions. Click on that. Become part of what I've created as the Forex Fire family. Okay, guys. So thank you very much. I look forward to reading the comments below. See you later.